Hello. Hi, I'm your Hello. dog walker, Akanksha. Welcome. You got in so okay then? Yes, good, I totally good. did. Good, excellent. Come Thank in, you. Come in, should come I take in. my shoes off? Uh, uh, off, please, yes, if oh. you don't mind. Cool. Thank you very much. Oh. This way. Awesome. Your house is incredible. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, is this Timothy? Yes, it is. Hi. <laughs> How's Actually, it's, it's pronounced Timothy. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it's very important to India that he doesn't get confused about his name. Uh, speaking it. of which, what's, uh, could you pronounce your name? Oh. Is it a, a, a cock shot? <laughs> oh, it's pronounced a conch shell. Just think of a conch shell. Conch shell. I've got one of those somewhere, I think. Oh. I'll, I'll, um, uh, give me a, yeah, oh. I'll, I'll just uh, have a little. Okay. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, hi, I'm your dog sitter, Kanksha. Oh hi, it's so nice to meet you. Um, the app said you were Indian. Yes, I was born there and then I actually grew up in Saudi Arabia and then I moved here and... You didn't have an accent, so I just got a little nervous for a second, but that's great. Um, walk with me. So, my name's India and Harry thought it would be funny to take us on a trip to India for our anniversary. That's his humor. But unfortunately, we have to leave little Timote, which is... Honestly, breaking my heart, I'm kind of having like a, a little bit of a breakdown about it. Timote has a lot of allergies. You got one of I those have... flat faces, this bulldog thing, you know. French bulldog. Oh, brachycephalic, right? It's hard for them to breathe. The nutritionist recommended an organic, all natural, raw food diet with some superfoods, of course. Basically, I want you to read this book like it's the Bible or whatever that book is for you. Is that your, your phone's ringing? Sorry about that. Could you maybe turn your phone on silent just while we're doing the instructions? I, I'm so sorry. My sister's coming to visit me and um, I haven't seen her in a really long time. Where is she? She lives in India. Oh, I see. I, I thought your family were all here. Oh, no, no. They're all back in India. It's just me here. Wow. Oh, so any, anyways, I haven't seen her in a really long time and she's coming to visit and she needs these letters for her visa interview. Is and she so trying to move like, here? Or? No, no, she's just coming to visit me. But didn't you apply for citizenship? Um, no, it's like really complicated, actually. I, I'm still on a student visa. You know, Harry's an immigrant. Oh, well, I know, I'm, I'm an expat, really. Oh. Well, no, I'd actually tell a lie. I'm now a dual citizen, so I'm a fully paid up, flag waving member of the American society. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We didn't have to fill out any paperwork, did not we? Not a lot, no. No, in, in fact, we probably did more to adopt the dog, I would have thought. That was a lot. Mm. Honestly, this whole thing has just been so difficult. I really just wanted to take him with us to India. It's just so far away. I mean, it's like across the entire world, and he's going to be here all by himself. It's a 16-hour flight, so... No, it's, no, but I've seen some yeah. people do it. I think George Clooney did something like that. There is a way oh, they could do it if they really wanted to help us. felt so unethical and off. so unfair. They were just being rude to me. They was like they were targeting me. Maybe you can give him some of the cultural experience that he'll be missing out on. Yeah, that's what we're really, really hoping. <laughs> yeah. How many more master's degrees do you need? Are you just gonna stay in school until you die? You ever think about your past? You know what your dad said to me the other day? He was like, if you grew up in Saudi Arabia, then how are you so normal? I was just like, sir, Childhood trauma comes in all kinds of different forms, but I feel like if I actually said that, then he would give me a bad review. So your parents told me that they had pet insurance for you. Does that cover dental though? Because humans doesn't cover dental and vision and nobody knows why. I think I'm a socialist. Would you read Chomsky if you could? He's really cool. He's really old. I only kind of understand what he's saying half the time. So, 
We have to do this thing, okay? Like every time I go out with a dog, I tell my sister I'm going out on a hot date and then I don't tell her anything else. And then she gets all excited about it and she tells my mom about it. And then I just send her a picture of a dog. And then my mom's like, you're 30 years old. This is getting really sad, please stop. So let's take a photo. You look so cute. Now the rape and murder of a 27-year-old woman in India's southern city of Hyderabad is causing outrage. The Indian government has toughened some of its laws to reduce crimes against women following the rape of a woman on a bus in 2012. But the latest figures show nearly 39,000 women were raped in India in 2016, including more than 2,000 girls under the age of 12. So how do you, how do you change the culture there, this attitude uh, towards women, that it's often their fault, uh, that sort of thing? But has it really made a difference? Because it would appear that it hasn't. I mean, you know, you can toughen up the laws, but it takes a lot longer to change the, the whole culture around it, doesn't it? That's the owner. She is an Instagram influencer. I don't, I don't really know what they influence, but... Mm. She print that out from Instagram and then put it up in her own home. What are these? I am blessed with the power and vitality to uplift others. Hey, what the fuck? I breathe in negative energy and I breathe out positive energy. I don't think that's how energy works. The only thing holding you back is fear. I don't know about that. I feel like there's a lot of things holding me back, like um, the police. <laughs> Money comes to me. I'll drink to that. <laughs> what? It's gonna work, it's gonna work. I, I don't understand. This woman is painting a heart on an elephant's forehead. God damn it, Demote. Her parents are colonizing my country all over again. Is Tim one of those dogs who's been so inbred he can't really breathe anymore? Yep. When does your sister get here? In two weeks. I'm so excited. I want to show you a picture of us, actually. Okay. That was us the last time I saw her. She hates that photo because she thinks that she looks gross. But I think I look pretty hot. <laughs> you both look good. She looks over it. Very teenager mode, but. I think that's the hottest I've ever looked, so I keep trying to post it places, but she keeps wanting me to take it down. You look pretty young in that, so I'm not gonna say you look hot, but you look good. <laughs> I've just like, missed everything, you know? <laughs> I, when I left, she was 14 years old and now she's 25 and I will always remember her as a 14 year old, I feel like. Like, in my head, she's just, she's still a little kid. And I don't know what happened in the last nine years or eight years or however long it's been. Because somehow, Every year it gets harder. You would think that after a while you get kind of used to it, but I don't know, the more the time goes on, the harder it gets. And I can't wait. I've missed birthdays and graduations and boyfriend stories and secrets and
everyone's always saying to me, they're like, when do you get to go home? Are you gonna go home for the holidays? Don't you miss home? <laughs> I don't know if I could go that long without going home. And I'm just like, yep. <laughs> yeah, not really going home. <laughs> Another year. I hate the holidays. <laughs> I fucking hate the holidays. <sighs> when I was growing up in Saudi Arabia, I was like, America looks awesome. Like, this is where everybody gets f free. And I want that so badly. So I was like, I gotta go there, I gotta go there. I gotta get the fuck out of here and I gotta go there. And for the last 12 years, it has just been about, how can I stay here? How can I keep staying here? How can I stay here today and tomorrow and like five more days before something happens and I might have to go back? And I don't know how to make my family factor into all of that stuff. So I'm a bad sister. I had a consultation with an immigration lawyer. I couldn't go home even if I wanted to. He said if I leave, I might never be able to come back. Let's go. Listen, I don't like exercise either, but the doctor says it's good for us, okay? My sister has a dog, did I tell you that? She's four years old. I've never met her, but she seems really cute. <laughs> 